In this episode, I talk over how the GoPro Hero 9 stabilization will work and how possibly the GoPro Hero 10 might also be really similar. Well, it's mostly about the GoPro Hero 9, but this is about the stabilization. This is Dragon V Films Tech. Welcome to the podcast. This podcast is sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy will expand your marketing and also is your filmmaking on YouTube. Get to know your keywording and everything else that you need to know to expand your growth. Just insert the code RVFTECH21 or click on the first link in the description down below. Now, let's get into it. Hey there, I'm Regan and welcome to the Regan V Films Tech Podcast. This is going to be a new show that I'm going to try and do for the most following months. If not, then I'm just going to update you with what's going on. But welcome to the Reagan V Films Tech Podcast, where we talk tech and make tech work for you. Now, this is the GoPro Hero 9, and the GoPro Hero 10 is coming this late season of fall. With fall coming up, well, it's not even fall, but fall is coming up, we want to know what the GoPro stabilization works. I'm going to give you my explanation about how I basically think that the GoPro Hero 9 would work. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm going to be looking at my phone because this is the first podcast I have actually ever done. So, first of all, on the GoPro, when you turn it on with stabilization, there's going to be a small crop, as we all know. If you don't know, there is a small crop on the sensor. So, if you put it into 4K or 5K, it's basically going to crop the sensor into like a smaller size for some reason. I don't know why they do this, but I think they do this mainly for the stabilization because it's the GoPro Hyper Smooth. So with the Hyper Smooth, it's available on the lenses. Well, all type of lenses, but I'm just going to name it out if you don't have this little thing yet. It's Linear, Narrow, Wide, Super View, which is also cropped. The resolutions on this GoPro is 1080p, which is high definition. 720p, I don't, I don't think they have 720p, but if they do, then... Uh, just use 1080. Uh, they have 2.7K, 4K, and 5K. 5K seems to be the new thing, while Black Magic is at least making the 8K. If not, then the 10K, I haven't checked, even though this is being recorded during, well, right after CES. So you're just watching this episode sometime when I scheduled it. Yeah. On the GoPro, when you turn it on with the GoPro Horizon Lock with Lanier, it does a big crop in on the sensor. So if I just made a diagram, then you can just see it in front. So there's like, it's almost like this image right here, but then let's say that it just cuts off right here. So right around this box, if I can just calculate it correctly, right around here, it's going to crop in. But then if I want it to be on my face, then it's going to be like cropped like something like this, like around here. But if it's not any of those, then basically it's just the, well, it's not, it can't be, any, it can't be, if it can't be any of those, there still is because I, I, I know because there's no other way that GoPro can get a zoom or like any type of zoom except like super view or like one of those because most of those lenses are actually cropped in if you can't believe it or not. Because there's only one lens. Well, there's not really one lens, but there is one lens. This is just the regular lens that comes with everything. But then there's also a max lens, which gives you a wider field of view. It's like super view, but it's multiplied by two where you get to see a whole lot more. So with those two, basically with linear and horizon leveling, it's like, it's basically like stitching a video together but then you actually overlay like two pieces of footage and then it stabilizes it with a whole lot more of cropping, I would have to say. Yeah, also this is raw. I, I barely edited this thing. Yeah. So with linear, because just like what I told you, it's like two videos just overlaid to each other and then just stabilized looking at the horizon line behind you. Even though that there's no horizon line, it still adds a horizon line because it has like a gyro, is it, I think it's a gyrometer. Yeah, a gyrometer onto, just like our phone right here, a leveler that would be somewhere in the GoPro with the, um, with the sensor. And then that basically lets the battery process more 
than what you want it to. So if you have like a GoPro Hero 8 or lower and you have the horizon lock feature, just don't use it because it's going to be using a whole lot of battery. And when it uses a whole lot of battery, basically it's less recording time even though we were not using it, which is kind of pretty much an issue. And if there is that issue with this, the sensor on here is 20 megapixels. So when it processes it, the battery lasts up to two hours, so it could take almost half of that, which is almost like an hour. So when it's like an hour, actually I gotta check the audio on this, but when it's like an hour long, that's almost like having a downgrade to your GoPro Hero 8. Now let me check on the audio first. Okay, so the audio is now working, but I've seen, uh, why am I holding a screwdriver? But when I saw a mountain biking video on YouTube as any normal person would, would not, well not that much, but in, in my in my reality it is. So when we have the GoPro Hero 9 and the Horizon Lock, when I saw another person use it while they were on the trails, when it was like near near sundown, is it? I think it's sundown, sundown, sundown sunset, sun, yeah, something like that. Near dawn, basically they were having the um, linear function on their GoPro Hero 9, and while they were moving, you can see the sides are actually moving too. It's pretty annoying, which means that in the in post production, you would have to crop in a little bit more, which makes it more restrictive, and you can't really have like <laughs> you can't really have a uh, space to move around. Just like you're eating a pizza, and then you're like crammed full of people. Uh, yeah, you can barely move, or like you're in a car with cousins, and then like you're all squished together, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's that feeling right there. So with the GoPro Hero 9, it's best to use it when you have tons of daylight or at least light. Because when you have enough light, then you don't get to see it because that's when the GoPro can process it better. But if it's like near dawn or like in the nighttime type of conditions, it's not recommendable. I just got to say that it's not recommendable. Because you can see those sides shake. I even used it for a time lapse with Horizon Lock. Yeah, it's not so great during nighttime. However, it is great when you just want to make sure that this, like your camera, is leveled. So if you're, so if you're on a cliffside and then your GoPro's like this, then if you turn on linear mode plus Horizon Lock, then it's going to Horizonize. Is that? I don't know if that's a word. It's gonna Horizonize. The lens, well not really the lens, but the video it's going to crop in, but not that much to balance it out and it's going to use its AI or artificial intelligence. If you're new to AI, which hopefully not, but with the AI on the GoPro, it's going to detect a line that aligns with the that aligns with the video. So while it aligns with the video, basically it's going to do what it's supposed to do just like right here look look at this horizon line that I have behind me actually this is a big giant ruler that was first placed here so this horizon line right here matches with the video because mine is on the tripod but right here this will make sure if you are leveled or not because if you aren't leveled you don't want to see a video that's wonky however audio you have to have good audio, of course, while video just takes over. So there might be a question some people might have had said, such as, during the live stream, can you have it to be on or off? Actually, on. <laughs> Where do you have, is it a possibility to have on a live stream to have the near horizon lock on? The answer is basically no, because, well, it could be on, it's just that we don't know. Because we can't really verify or view it. Because when you go live, it just shows a small piece of setting on the on the front lens and possibly the back. Uh, no, not front. The front screen and the back. Because when it goes with the live streaming, basically, I think it's already leveled. Because if you have Horizon Lock already on, then basically it's going to take up a whole lot of your battery life and you don't want that but then sometimes the live streaming can continue on and then you can see it wonky 
So that could just mean that the hypersmooth is actually just turned on because just like every other person would, just like me and just like you right on, right on this podcast, I would go on YouTube and then search other videos just like this. And then I saw this one person on YouTube. I don't know his name, but I'll just, if I can find it, I'll just put it up here on YouTube. And basically they were live streamed over onto their Twitch, YouTube. I don't know. There's so many platforms these days. And then with that, they actually, there's like, you can see that it's stabilized while they were live. And then their viewers said that it was fine and all that. So I think hi, Lanier, Lanier uh, Horizon Lock on the GoPro Hero 9 when you're live streaming, it won't really turn on. However, HyperSmooth is on if you had that on in the settings before you actually set it up. Now, what can the Max Lens mod can offer? The Max Lens mod, it will, again, give you a wider field of view. It's like putting your GoPro Hero 9 on Super View, and then you just multiply that by two, where it becomes extremely wide, and you get to see, like, a whole lot. It's like your current eye. It's just, uh, it's in a camera, because you're able to see a whole lot more. Now, while you see a whole lot more, this will offer for a better resolution, so with the max lens mod, you're able to record up to 4K and 5K with linear and horizon lock because of that crop, that crops, crops keep on taking over, but yeah. max lens mod does. And however, on chance if you're geeking out about the GoPros or the GoPro Hero 9, or if you wanna be part of the GoPro ecosystem, I'll have a playlist linked on the screen right now. You can go ahead and click over there. I have a full playlist about it and what you can do and also make it as your webcam on Zoom and be on a higher quality than possibly everybody else on your Zoom call. And also perhaps on one of the videos, there is actually an article which I will link in the description down below. And if you wanna see the show notes of this podcast, I'll have that linked down below. And if you want to buy me a coffee or a cookie, well, mostly a cookie, go ahead and go over here or either if you want to subscribe, but mostly like and share this podcast. This is pretty new. We're going to advance. I don't know about this podcast sort of thing, but yeah. Well, thanks for watching the first podcast or second podcast of Reagan Fee Films Tech. Now, Shaka and Mahalo. This podcast has been sponsored by TubeBuddy. I love TubeBuddy because then I get to know what people are searching for for the amount of marketing that I need to do and for the upcoming video ideas, just like this one. So go ahead and click that first link in the description below or either type in RVF Tech 21. Now thanks for listening to the Reagan V Films podcast.